So how big is SpaceX Starlink really? Let's talk about it. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much once again joining me for Tea Time today. We have a little bit of fireside. That smokiness of the lap song, so good, so good. I hope you're joining me with your cup of tea, maybe a cup of coffee, hanging out, talking tech, talking photo, talking video. Today is a technology day. We're gonna be talking about SpaceX Starlink and how big is it really? That is the question, that is the big question. That could be the billions or the trillion dollar questions if all goes well for Elon Musk. So, and possibly for us too that are looking into maybe getting into an IPO, if it ever IPOs. Hopefully it does one day. If it would have IPO'd 30 months ago, when I first got involved with SpaceX Starlink, I would have bought in immediately because I saw it. I could see it. A lot of people didn't. Uh, they are now figuring it out really quickly. But back then when it was in beta times, they really didn't get it. Now, it's worldwide, it's everywhere. I think it's like 2.6, 2.7 million people currently using SpaceX Starlink worldwide. That is a lot. That is a ton in such a small period of time. Well, I was reading an article over on The Motley Fool. They're really great when it comes to investing. They're not always right. Some people think that they're like, you know, the cat's meow and they've been wrong many times. I've followed The Motley Fool for well over a decade and they are wrong a lot but sometimes they're right. And when they are right, they are right by a lot. So I wanna read for you a portion of an article that I read over there on The Motley Fool, and then give you my commentary as I always do. And then hopefully you can provide your thoughts down below in the comment area. That's what this channel is all about. Not this talking head, it's about us. It's about the community that we've been growing now for a couple of years. Before I get into this article, I just wanna say that if you haven't downloaded any of my eBooks, check them out. They are free just for you being here. Go to jcristina.com forward slash books. Also, if you get anything out of this video, throw it a thumbs up, that'd be very helpful. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not. If you are, thank you. I appreciate that. Click this little button over here so when I go live and when a new video comes out, you'll be notified of it immediately, if not sooner, if YouTube actually works. Sometimes it does. YouTube, get it together. Also, if you wanna say thank you for all of my hard work, there's a little thank you button down here. Click on that, give a dollar or two if you like. If not, that's perfectly fine. Consider becoming a member of the channel. That would be even better. Also, if you're looking for more Starlink content, I put together a playlist just for you. There's about 250, 260 videos specifically on SpaceX Starlink. Helpful how-tos, tips, tricks, what to buy, what not to buy, the why behind it all. Once again, check that out when you're done watching this video. And finally, if you're looking for a VPN, look no further. Check out Pure VPN. The nice folks over there gave us a promo code, which is Christina. Use that at checkout. And you're going to get 15 additional percent off. If you can't remember that, go to URL jchristina.com forward slash VPN. Once again, jchristina.com forward slash VPN, and you will get that 15 additional percent off. Now that all the housekeeping is complete, let's jump right into this article. It starts out by saying 2023 marked a milestone for SpaceX's revolutionary Starlink satellite broadband internet service. For the first time ever, SpaceX made more money as an internet service provider, $4.2 billion in 2023 revenue, than it did as a space company launching rockets to orbit, $3.5 billion. That's a difference, a little bit of a difference there. You're looking at what, $700 million difference, 4.2 billion compared to 3.5 billion. That is amazing. Once again, what makes it amazing is only two and a half years or so. Let's call it 30 months since they went public, let's call it, where we're out of beta, right? That's just crazy to me. 2024 will once again be an even bigger year for Starlink than it will be for SpaceX's core rocket launch business. With Starlink's revenue outgrowing SpaceX's launch division year over year, 62% versus 57%. 5% greater increase in business. That is amazing. SpaceX Starlink ended 2023 with 2.3 million paying subscribers around the globe, the majority of them being US subscribers. As Starlink continues to expand its business though, international customers are going to be a bigger and bigger part of the business. Now, 
This is an issue when it comes to an IPO, in my personal opinion, because as they grow more and more internationally in comparison to the US, well, the amount of revenue is going to go down. The reason being is the majority of the people that are outside of the US, international people, are paying less than people here in the US. Now, I was looking up some information because they were talking about these percentages and how much are being made per customer, and it's actually called ARPU, which stands for Average Revenue per user. All companies basically look at these numbers, your ARPU, to get an idea of how they're doing. How much is each customer paying? Let's say their subscription or how much just in general are they paying? It could be a subscription model, it could be just a one-time purchase model, whatever it is. And then they do a lot of cost analysis and how much they're going to possibly make in the future. A lot of IPOs are based on this. So, the ARPU, I notice, has just been so massive, so massive in comparison to other companies. So I wanted to see what the ARPU was on other companies. Now, check this out, guys. I looked up Comcast and I looked up AT&T just to get an idea. But before we get into those numbers, right, we want to know what Starlink's ARPU is. Now, The Motley Fool said this estimates that Starlink will grow its user base by 65% to 3.8 million users. This is for 2024 into 2025. But the revenue generated by those users will be about $6.8 billion, which works out to $1,789 ARPU. Once again, that's the average revenue per user. $1,789. Keep that number in mind. So Comcast. Comcast has been around for like 60 plus years. Things like 61 years. I think they came out in like 63 or something. 1963. That company's ARPU is what? $789. $789. Sounds familiar, right? <laughs> Starlinks is $1,789. Comcast is $789. Massive difference. You're looking at like half. They're literally making half the amount. Now remember, this is a company that's 60 plus years old, not a company that just went, let's say public, two and a half years ago, 30 months ago, out of beta. And then of course we have to look at AT&T, my favorite company of all. AT&T has been around since like 1885, 86, something like that. It's like 140 years old, 139 years old, something like that. This company, once again, an internet provider as of today, has an ARPU of $686, literally a third of what SpaceX Starlink is making. One third. You following me here? You see the massive disparity in such a small period of time. I mean, when you look at it, it's just, it's absolutely awe-inspiring that a business can grow that quick as SpaceX Starlink has through the hands of Elon Musk. Absolutely amazing. Now, one of the things that The Motley Fool looks at, of course, is the possibility of an IPO and will this be a good thing, a bad thing, or whatnot. Now, they're making a ton of money, so it's a good thing. Trust me, the IPO will come out high. But what they say is this, Starlink's U.S. subscription nearly doubled in the last year, up 90%, while international subscription literally tripled 200% up. It is predicted that the number of U.S. subscribers will grow 45% this year, while international subscribers will roughly grow 95%, basically doubling. Crazy. Now, of course, that is excellent for Starlink users because, you know, the company is not going anywhere. It's only going up. It is growing. You're going to have internet for many, many years to come. It's only going to get better, and most likely it's going to get cheaper, rest assured. But, and this is the big but, when it comes to investors, and once again, the Motley Fool here, and what they look at, that 50-50 split 
between US and international, what they're predicting for the next year or two is going to be a little bit worse on them. Big quotes, air quotes on worse. And the reason being, once again, is the international people are simply paying less. As an example, the folks in France are currently paying about $45 US money for SpaceX Starlink, while the average US customer is paying about $109 per month. A big difference. I'm paying 120, but there are some folks paying 90. So the average is $109 in comparison to internationally in France, 45 bucks. That's a big difference. Also, number two, what they didn't talk about here, which I think is very, very important, is that the number of people that are buying new hardware as we go forward is going to become less and less and less. And now they're going to simply get their revenue from their monthly subscription and not that initial hardware cost of $500, let's say. So instead of the $500 plus the 120, $500 plus the 120 from each person and then 120, 120, 120 going forward, they're only going to get the 120 every month for the years to come. It's not a bad thing, but that is something to take into consideration. There's already 2.6 million people that already paid their $500. Now, there is a prediction by The Motley Fool that they're going to get to 3.8 million. That is a lot. They're looking at a massive 1.2 million new customers coming this year. That is a big, big deal, guys. That is a massive deal. Now, I've told you guys in the past, and I don't know if you believe me or not, I said this 30 months ago almost. I said, listen, once SpaceX Starlink really gets their claws into this, I think the telcos should be shaking their boots because their days are numbered. And people thought that I was absolutely crazy. I said, yeah, it's just once they are able to connect to those satellites with the phone, now they're already able to do it if you're outside. You can connect, right? You can text, eventually be able to make calls, and then finally you'll be able to use data, surf the web and all this kind of stuff. Just simply being outside, not having any Wi-Fi, not having any cell towers nearby, nothing. Just simple communication, direct from your phone, any phone to the satellite. Once Elon Musk or SpaceX Starlink can figure out the problem on how to propagate that signal through the walls, through the ceiling, into buildings, game over. That's my personal opinion, game over. The telcos are done. They're gonna have to basically do a 180 degree turnabout and refocus. In my personal opinion, at that point, those telcos are going to simply be fiber infrastructure type of companies. That is it. They're no longer going to be able to rape the retail public, us any longer. That's going to be the end of them. In my personal opinion, I could be wrong. All right. So what say you? What do you think? Is that possible? <laughs> Number one. Also, what do you think about this rapid growth with SpaceX Starlink? I think it's amazing. What do you think? Down below, let's have this discussion. And finally, I want to know from you, if they IPO today, if SpaceX Starlink had an IPO today, would you be in? Would you purchase some of that company? Would you buy stock? I would love to hear from you. I can tell you for sure, I would. Now, once again, it's not about me, it's about us. Let's have this conversation down below. I wanna hear your thoughts. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. If you have, throw the video a thumbs up, that would be awesome. And finally, head over to my website, jchristina.com, where you can find all the photography tools I've invented for you and me over the many years. And don't forget my merch as well as my tees and everything else. Pick something up, support me and my family. That would be awesome. Many blessings to you and your family. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay connected, and we'll see you in the next one. Love you all.